This video won't be any new content, this one is just going to be looking at the all triangle randomizer that I made for you guys. So here is what you'll see when you first load it up. The numbers might be a little bit different, but that's totally fine. It is meant just to randomize triangles for you guys. So in this case, I can see that I have two angles because those are the capital letters and one side because this is the lowercase letter side. So in this triangle, I have two angles and a side length. I can see I have a side angle pair. So I'm going to go ahead and use law of sines to do this problem. And if you scroll down, you'll actually see law of sines shows up there. To take it one step further, you can go through and do law of sines, find out all of the side lengths. You can use the 180 degrees trick to figure out this third angle here. And then when you scroll down, you'll see all of the angles and all of the side lengths. Finally, if you want to practice the area of the triangle, you can use either of the laws because now you have all three sides and you've got two sides and an angle in between. So if you scroll down one more time, you can see that there is the area there. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we get a new problem. So you press delete here for a new question and when you do, you'll see these values will change. So now I have an SSS triangle. I am given all three sides, which means that I need to use the law of cosines. Scroll down a little bit and I see law of cosines. Once I use law of cosines, then I can find the three angles and then I can use any of those for the area. So this worksheet does practice every single triangle that uh, I will give you and this practices every single triangle that I have given you. For example, if you know you need practice on side 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 triangles, then down here at the bottom, you can see that you need practice with side side side. So if you click on this SSS sheet, it will only give you SSS triangles. As I cycle through these, it only gives me SSS triangles. So if you know you need practice with those, please go ahead and select um, whichever type of triangle you need practice with. I do wanna talk about this SSA sheet. So there is something a little bit different about this sheet. When you scroll down, and this does also show up in the regular display sheet, when you scroll down, you can see that there's a chance to have no triangles formed or sometimes, let me see if I can find one, one triangle formed, or even sometimes, let's see if I'm lucky and I can get two triangles formed, yeah. So we could have zero, one, or two triangles formed. That's gonna be the second half of this unit. So if you end up seeing that in the display sheet, so let me see if I can find, yes. If you find a no triangles formed or a two triangles formed problem, don't worry about the second triangle, don't worry about recognizing that it is no triangle. All you guys know right now is how to solve single triangle uh, problems. So do not worry about that if you see no triangle or two triangle formed. That's how you use this all triangle randomizer worksheet.